Babes and baddies, buckle up because it's time to get ready because it's Friendsgiving. I literally remember getting ready with you guys last year for Friendsgiving and it's already been a whole year. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little sad because I wanted to host Friendsgiving this year since I have my own place. My apartment complex has like a party room that you can rent out and have however many people you want in there, but there's just no parking. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It would be so frustrating for everybody trying to find parking and then trying to find me and then trying to find the room and all that stuff. So it's at my friend Marissa's house like it is every year. You're probably like Malia, you could have just done it in your apartment and I could have, but I literally only have like two bar stools. Like where's everyone sitting? Or are we just all standing talking at each other? I just, I, if I'm gonna do something, I need to do it right. But I will be hosting more and more girls nights in like game nights and stuff like that. But Friendsgiving is a time where we want everyone together and I quite literally can't fit everyone into my space. I'm like doubling up. I'm also going in with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation because this has a beautiful finish too. So this year for Friendsgiving, we're doing potluck style and I'm bringing a charcuterie board. And I'm telling you, I got the best stuff. This is gonna be the ultimate charcuterie board ever. Now I get it, you're probably like Malia, that is so boring. But if you know you can't cook, don't sign up to bring something and then have it be nasty. Like that's the last thing I'm gonna put my friends through. I spent like $70 on meats and cheeses and cookies and crackers and grapes and strawberries to fill this charcuterie board, okay? As the designated bartender of our group, I'm also making caramel apple martinis, a little holiday beverage, if you will. Since I make apple teenies all the time, I decided tonight I was gonna do a caramel apple teeny to like spice it up and have a holiday drink. So I got caramel vodka, apple teeny like mix, and then I got caramel to rim the cup. It should be good, but I definitely should have tried it out before just bringing it. Big shout out to my two months of bartending at Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> With the season of being thankful, I just wanted to take another opportunity to say how thankful I am for you guys and this platform and just all my dreams coming true this year. Like my vision board, we've been checking things off and I've never felt more blessed. Every morning I wake up, I'm like, this is real life, it wasn't a dream. It was a dream, just not that type of dream like that you wake up from, you know, in your sleep. This time last year, we grew so quick, so fast. And I just really never knew what it would do, how it would change my life. I just loved making content and I still love making content. So the fact that this is my full-time job is just like, whoa. I literally would come home from my nine to five and sometimes even my serving job and be so sad, just like in a bad mental space, ball my eyes out sometimes and just like dreading the next day. And I just wake up so happy and thankful and grateful every day. I, I can't say thank you enough. And I do have a giveaway coming up. I'm just working on getting some of the last things because I want to do a Friendsgiving thankful giveaway for you guys. I have to tell you guys what I did. So I am easily influenced, right? And I saw a video on my For You page of someone talking about this little viral camera that was on Amazon, it was like $70. And they showed pictures of how the camera worked and how their pictures turned out and everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I need this camera. So I ran to Amazon and I bought it, right? So this is my vlogging camera. I invested in this, she was expensive, but she has no flash. And one thing I struggle with is taking pictures when I'm dressed up and out with my friends. Like iPhone pictures don't always hit, you know, everyone's on the little digital camera wave. And I'm tired of carrying around my big old Alex Erla. I've dropped it a million times. It doesn't even turn on half the time. But look at her. She's so compact. She's gonna fit in all my mini purses. Again, she was like $70 on Amazon. It's the Kodak. I don't know, I'll link it, but she has a flash. So we're gonna test her out tonight at Friendsgiving. I'm gonna take her with me. We're gonna take a bunch of pictures and I'll, I'll show you guys. I got this Urban Decay All Nighter setting powder. One of my friends who's like a makeup artist she has this in her collection and I was like, okay, honestly, I'll do whatever you say because your makeup turns out so good and it never budges throughout the night. So I'm gonna put this where my makeup creases the most and we'll see how it turns out. Everyone's in the group chat right now talking about like what they're wearing and then someone brings up like, are we going out after this? And ugh, I'm so stuck on the fence with that because it changes the whole idea of my outfit, but also like, I feel like when every girl's night turns into like going out, half of what you talk about with your friends is like, oh, so where are we going? Like like plotting it out instead of just like sitting back and having good conversation and memories that like will last forever. You're just worried about plotting out the next step. So fingers crossed, we just stay in the house tonight and have a good girl's night. Is that a crazy ask? 
right now. I'm not 100% what I'm gonna wear, but I definitely have some ideas roaming in my head. Y'all told me for the best highlight, I need to spray my face first. So I'm going in with the e.l.f. spray. And now we have our Rare Beauty highlighter, which already gives so much. But let's see if it really... Oh, snap. That's gorgeous. You know what I also impulsively did? I had a really bad spending day the other day. When I vlogged my little day in my life prep for um, Friendsgiving, even when I came home, I couldn't stop spending money. So yesterday I had a no spending day. But I saw one, one singular person review the new Beyonce perfume left the TikTok app, went and bought it, and she didn't even describe the smell. She just said it smelled delicious, and she knew Beyonce smelled good. Got me. Got me. And I'm on, this, I'm on my hunt for a perfect scent, so fingers crossed. I think she comes in today. Okay, I have a genuine question for one, divorced kids, or divor people with divorced parents, and two, the people with, like, boyfriends or significant others. How do you pick which Thanksgiving you're going to go to? Like, Jamal invited me to his, that's my boyfriend. My mom, I'm, my parents are divorced, my mom is having one, my dad is having one, and then my dad's even having a second one so that if we spend it with my mom or if I'm with Jamal, like, we can still do something with him. So, I'm stuck. And it's, they're not close enough in proximity for us to hit all of them. Like, we'd literally only be able to spend, like, an hour, 30 minutes, 30 minutes tops, really. How do you pick? I will say one thing that sucks is having a big family but having them be so spread out that Thanksgiving is like still small. Mm. I've literally always wanted a big family but now that it relies on me pushing out multiple kids to have that big family, I'm kind of like, mm, <laughs> I'm okay. Makeup's done, now I just need to do something with his hair and then figure out what the heck I'm wearing tonight. See you in part two for the fit. Get ready with me for Friendsgiving. I finally got Capri down for her nap so I can get ready in peace. Side note, I know this looks super dark on my face, but I did a self tan last night. So I promise it'll match once I do like my contour and like, um, what's the word? Concealer. So like I said, I'm getting ready for Friendsgiving. I have lived in Atlanta for five years and I have hosted Friendsgiving for four years, but this year I am not. And honestly, I'm kind of loving it. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed hosting for the past four years. However, not having like to stress about our place being perfectly clean and getting everything together and just organizing it, it just feels really, really nice. Like I can make my one little dish and just show up with my family. <laughs> so I'm in charge of the stuffing and I have in fact never made stuffing. So you best believe I'm making that shit from the box, but I am really excited because whenever we're around our friends, it feels like we don't have a kid because everyone is just like obsessed with her and want to hold her and play with her and we can just relax. But it's so funny to me because there's gonna be like 20 plus people here and we are the only ones with a kid, but like we're all around the same age. But that's just even more people to Take care of our kid so is anyone else like so excited to get through thanksgiving so that we can just go 100 percent full force christmas like i've already decorated and i feel like i am practically full force but after thanksgiving it's like game on i think capri just woke up babe capri just woke up do? jaylen is like the one who's like really good with getting her to fall asleep so i'm like help what do i do i got this rare beauty highlighter for myself for my birthday and it's chef's kiss, genuinely. Look at this. Like, I'm sorry, but I have to do my eyeliner off camera because it's hard. Okay, Capri is officially crying really loud, so I need to hurry. Jalen said just let her cry, but <laughs> I just really can't do that. Uh, that is like really pink. Okay, here is the final. I think it's simple and glowy, like exactly what I was going for but come back for the outfit video. Get ready with me for Friendsgiving. This is my first Friendsgiving ever. I'm at Becca's house right now and we are hosting. We decorated so cute and I'm so excited for everyone to get here. I'm gonna show you guys the like table when I'm done because I'm very proud of it. It came together beautifully. But right now I'm rushing to get ready because I wanna make sure everything is in its place before everyone starts to get here. Everyone's bringing a different meal, but I made like a charcuterie board as like my contribution. 
and it came out pretty cute doing a light wing with some eyeshadow as usual also this persona blush and jam is beautiful look at that okay i'm already at look at the table look how stunning and cute and everyone has a name tag and we're gonna write what we're thankful for on these little notepads hey besties get ready with me to go to a little friendsgiving dinner i'm doing my foundation right now i'm using the nars look at my big ass sponge i got it from costco you guys ask me where i like to shop at and i really like getting my jeans at hollister because they have like the short section you know i really like shopping anywhere that's literally cute and inexpensive i just tend to go to like hollister or postal American Eagle, Shein, um, I can't really think of any right now, but those are like the top five right now. I just found my light, hopefully it looks a little bit better. How could I fucking forget to mention Marshalls and TJ Maxx? I love shopping there for my clothes. I find the cutest shit there, guys. It's super affordable, and the clothes are so cute and always in style too, so like, girl. I'm not gonna say Ross because, girl, their shit... Kind of cringy as fuck sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Let me know if you guys already entered the giveaway I'm doing. It ends on the 27th of this month, by the way. So go ahead and enter if you haven't already. I've also been really wanting to do the underpainting before your makeup. It's like where you put your contour and like liquid blush before you put your like concealer or whatever. This has been my favorite product of all time. It's so fucking bomb, guys. Look at this shit. Bitch, my hair was greasy and then I put dry shampoo because I looked it up and it said like it kind of helps with the like, greasy hair. So I'm like, bitch, I don't got time to shower today. So hair wash day is tomorrow. I've literally been forgetting to oil my hair before um, and I have to get on that again because I haven't done it in a while. I'm not going to chop it up because everybody is low-key there and they're locally just like waiting on me, bitch. Um... I just got a message saying that almost everybody was there, so I have to hurry the fuck up because I'm taking my sweet ass time right now. I'm gonna get birthday nails soon, so like I'm super excited for that too. Give me like birthday nail ideas or DM me pictures on Instagram, like inspo for my birthday nails. This is how I baked. I don't know, bitch. I've been baking like this and I've been baking like this and I've been liking it. I don't know why. Don't ask me. Guys, should I do a light pink lip combo or a brown lip combo? I don't know. I'm gonna be using the NYX lip liner in shade brown and then the Essence lip liner in shade my choice. I remove my lip pumper with a makeup remover wipe and then I do this. And I grab my powder puff and just go on the edges only because then it kind of gets your lips crusty. But what are you up to? I have to call bitch. Why can't I be dead to keep a hoe? Let's just let it go. Suck it. Okay, guys, I have to hurry the fuck up. I'm gonna do um some Fenty highlighter, and then that's literally it. And I'm literally done, and I'm literally ready to go. Damn, I look really good. I'll show you guys the finished makeup at my sister's house, and I'm gonna show you guys my OTD ayat también. This is my finished makeup look, y'all. I literally hate my fucking outfit. I literally hate my outfit, but it's- Get ready with me for Friendsgiving. So the Friendsgiving is at 7.30. 6.03 right now. Mascara I use is Telescopic and Sky High. Okay, eyelashes are done for the um, Friendsgiving. I made, made a silver pia cheesecake earlier today. It's really good. I'm so excited. Also, I've not been able to stop listening to this song since Drake came out with it. It's just so good. Look. For no reason. I think I've listened to it more than 70 times since it came out. Okay, next, eyebrow gel. Say blush. My cousin showed me this. I just love it so much. Okay, now bouncing. Adding a little bit more blush. This is my favorite highlight in the world. Okay, did I just break it? It's called Catherine Girl Sienna's Highlight. It's just so adorable. Like, I love it. Okay. I literally got my outfit already ready so fast. I'm putting on all my jewelry. I also have another Friendsgiving on Saturday, so hopefully I can find a good outfit for that too. Okay, this is the final look. Is it giving Friendsgiving? Okay, final look. Let's go to Friendsgiving. 
It's time to feast. Let's get ready for Friendsgiving. We are hosting it. So grateful for this group of friends that we found since moving to Charles. I feel like I've known them for forever. I can't believe I've only known some of them for like four months. Make up for lost time with how much we're together. Also, if you are in Charleston, I'm having an event at Uptown on Sunday from four to seven. That is where I met. Majority of this friend group is Sunday fun day at Uptown. So it's only fitting that my first event is there. I an event, but really I just want to hang out and I want everyone to meet each other and I want all of you to meet my friends. Love Sunday fun day. I want everyone to see it. I'm making a ham and stuffed mushroom. Never made a ham before. One of the girls brought cookies and had to hide them from me because I'm obsessed with cookies. I could eat the whole entire pack. All right, I'm going to fix my makeup later. I need to go slay this ham. <laughs> Get ready with me for Friendsgiving. So this is mine and my best friend's first ever like Friendsgiving and it's at my place. So that means I'm hosting. I'm not gonna be doing too much with the face, with the makeup because it's just at home and we all decided to wear PJs. So I'm wearing like cute little Christmassy PJs. It's just gonna be a cool little chill little night. Literally told everybody, everybody meeting my two best friends to get here at six o'clock. It is 4.45 and they're already on their way. But the food's not done. The food is not done. So I'm the one that basically planned this entire thing. So I put myself in charge of most of the food. So I'm in charge of the rice, the beans, the meat. Your girl's a little stressed, but it's okay. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Literally spent the entire day, me and my boyfriend spent the entire day cleaning our apartment, getting everything all nice and cute because my friends have never seen my place since we moved in. And we moved in back in july who was gonna tell me that curtains were this expensive we just put curtains up because don't ask us why we just did and why did we spend over a hundred dollars on curtains what and it wasn't like we could just not go without curtains um we be naked like every day so like we needed curtains but damn i don't know why i'm in such a rush like honestly if the food isn't done my best friends aren't gonna care like i've known these girls for years like literal year they're not gonna care but i just want to be a good host you know it's my first time ever hosting so i just want to be good but i know these girls literally my entire life i met one of them when we were in fifth grade and the way we met was just kind of funny and it's just like yeah that makes a lot of sense <laughs> we all basically need to say thank you to like our fifth grade teacher because if it wasn't for him he, we would never be friends honestly because he sat me and one of my best friends together and she was new to my school and she didn't know anybody and me and her like became best friends because she helped clean out my freaking desk because i'm a slob I, i'm a slob and she helped me clean out my desk and we literally became friends because she had like this little jello packet and we've been friends ever since and then going into sixth grade me and my other best friend were actually in summer school together and the same teacher that sat me and my other best friend together sat me and her together and that's how me and her became really good friends and we all just all clicked and got together and became friends <laughs> yeah mr bender if you're watching this thank you i love these girls they're my favorite and we owe you a lot <laughs> why did one of them text me saying that she's here already no, guess who decided to get here early? You wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> you shy? I was telling them how like we met. Oh, let me see. We met in 10th grade. We in 10th grade? Wait, 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 no. What? We met 10 years old. Sorry. We met in 5th grade. Wait, I'm not gonna do this. I guess <laughs> Alright, hey bitches. So here's a quick little voiceover because my best friend was telling me some tea that I could not share with you guys because TikTok will literally it will it will get taken down, girl. Okay, but anyway, she told me that, and then my other best friend came over, and we ate some good food. The vibes were good. We filmed a few little TikToks. Go check those out. And it was just fun hanging out with my girls again. I haven't hung out with them in forever. And y'all, we found out that one of them is pregnant. One of them is pregnant. Crazy. But yeah, that was Friendsgiving. Okay. Get ready with me for Thanksgiving in my boyfriend's childhood bedroom. It's going to be a battle of get ready with me's. Everyone's going to be making one for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I most likely will be one of the first you see every time my aunt sends the group text. She's like, we're doing dinner at noon. I'm like, doesn't that technically qualify as lunch? Spending the day with my family and then doing dinner with my boyfriend's family. Slept here last night. I need to work up an appetite because my Thanksgiving Eve festivities led to a late night stop at Sheets. Mac and cheese bites. We sort of like hot mozzarella sticks, cinnamon bites, and then we ate leftover wings. So I am still kind of full. We'll always make room for stuffing. I posted a video a while ago of me and my family making my Nana's recipe for pumpkin rolls. That is my contribution to Thanksgiving this year for my boyfriend's family. I can't wait to taste them. Here, my little Thanksgiving turkey.
Oh, there he is. Boom. Say hi. Oh, you're such a good boy. We went to one of our like local hometown bars last night for a few hours and went back to my cousin's house for a little party. A lot of fun, but a lot more relaxed than my normal Thanksgiving ease. Like, we're just getting older. This is about to be disastrous. I know what it is. Mm -hmm. Exactly how I thought it would be. Who do you see? Cute boy. He's always just like hovering over me, always. I love it. If someone is mowing their grass on this holiday, I hope you can still hear me. Tell me why that just gave me Vivi vibes. You know, you know. Boyfriend is literally working out right now. I wish I was able to do that. I'm actually gonna do my hair today, not just throw it up. Actually, this is how I like went out last night up to do my makeup and then I just left with it like that. There's no mirror on here. You're already in TikTok and then looking at yourself in a mirror. It's always very disappointing. I look way better on this app. That's the finished look. I hope you all have the best Thanksgiving and just want to tell you that I'm so thankful for you all. Love you. Time to get